sounds glorious. Just glorious. I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're out in Arizona, and I'm with friend of the channel, Randy Smalley, and we've got a guest with us. Tom, what's your last name? Mishki. Tom Mishki, and Tom, uh, we'll put the description of his company in the video so you can check that out. But Tom's the builder of this car, and Randy, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1962 low drag coupe, Jaguar. Um, it's a pretty unique car. It was built off of a, uh, a regular coupe and uh, redesigned with an all alloy body. I'm going to call this car maybe the sexiest car on the channel. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong. So let's go right to the car. And I told Randy that he can drive it for a while before I get it. This is about as sexy as a car gets. Look at that and meditate. So as you can see, it has the Copper State badges. It'll be on that rally. Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. A thousand miles all through Arizona. Look at the handle. Tommy, can you show me how this opens up like that? So you just lift it up, turn it sideways, and then it's got a little latch here that you can prop the trunk up. A so, lot of this is manual because it's a race car, so it's... Right. This is a full-blown race car that you're going to drive comfortably. All right, we'll close that right now. Love that hole right through the... Because being a race car, you got to get your gas in and out. And with the rivets, this little piece here, more rivets, and let's stand back. Randy, when did you get this car? What year? You know, I don't recall exactly, but it was somewhere around 2014, 2015. It came in a box. Came in a box. What made you buy this box without knowing what it was going to look like? I had one before. Okay. Uh, it was only half oil. It was a light, semi-lightweight, they called it, whereas this is 100% alloy. Alloy, firewalls, floors, everything. car only weighs about 1,800 pounds. 1,800 pounds. Take a look. Those are magnesium. <laughs> it's just... And you've also made it somewhat creature comfort-like. Great mirror instead of off the door or hanging outside. Your handle, your leather strap. Tom, how long did it take you to build this from a box? So from the time that Randy acquired the car, um, it, it's been in progress the whole time. It's been in process. Um, the gentleman up in Colorado who built the body, they, they got the car about 80% of the way, and then it went down to Randy's race team, and they uh, they helped get all the mechanicals, because the car was originally set to go on the racetrack. So um, Randy's race team, uh, much more versed in putting together a race car than we are here. The car was, the body itself was built by a company in Colorado, just north of uh, Denver, called Ten Element, and they're uh, panel beaters. So you know, the body, uh, the hood, and all these things, none of it fits properly, they had to make you know, sections longer and shorter and trim them and cut them. And yeah. So it took uh, it took about three years to build the body. May I go to the interior? Sure. Thank you. Ten years, did you say, to build the body? No, no, three years. Three years, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. Take a look at your instrumentation. And you have the correct amount of pedals. And Lou, one thing I'll draw your attention to is the Please. air conditioning vents underneath the dash. Yes. That's a custom form panel that uh, is done also out of aluminum with the rivets. And so this car, being it became a rally car, we installed vintage air conditioning. <laughs> it's nothing short of amazing. What, uh, what are the switches? Kind of go through for the electric windows. Electric windows. So that's another function of this car that you probably won't see. If you want to look at the window and run the outside button up and down, you can look at that. <laughs> oh, that is classic. 
on a race car, there's never really no. a good way to put the windows up and down, so we got creative. Notice the, look at even the headliner. So how long has this car been put together now, to the point where it's at now where it's going to do the copper state? Well, it's been, it's been done for probably close to a year, but all the little nitty stuff that uh, needed, needs to be done. It, like getting the interior fitted properly and getting the electric windows to work. And uh, we're, even it's simple things that sound simple, but they're not, the, the, the linkage for the, uh, the engine. By the way, it's, it's fuel injected. Let's take a look at that. Let's... Yeah. So it's a you know, fly-by-wire uh, throttle system, but getting that to work in a, in, a, in a car that has a foot box, <laughs> you know, this for, designed for a three-year-old, you know, so you, you, know, like you can't wear wide shoes because there's no room down there. And uh, so the engine is 3.8 liters. Uh, it's about uh, at the crank about 350 horsepower. It's designed to run on pump gas. That's why it's not more powerful. You could get these engines over 400 if you want them. But, uh, and an 1,800 pound car. Yes. So it's about 300 horsepower, a little bit over 300 horsepower on the ground. It's a so dry sump oil get system. Dry sump. So we've got a straight six cylinder here. Correct. It's a Jag motor, 3.8 Jag motor. Uh, see the air conditioner compressor hiding under there? Oh, yeah. And a special alternator on the top. We had a heck of a time with the alternator. That's about the fifth one. Get one to put out enough amperage to drive the whole uh, system. Let me show the other side. Let me show it kind of opened up, if you would. <laughs> wow. And by the way, Lou, my name on the over the driver's door. Yeah. I'm not that egotistical. I want everybody to know who I am. <laughs> well, on the, on the copper state. That's for the copper state. Yeah, the copper state makes you put that on there. I'm glad exactly. you said that. Yeah. There's your part number, and look at just the trumpets, and I can't wait to hear them blow. So actually, that fuel injection system is a, is a Jaguar original. It's, a, uh, uh, it's the Jaguar version of fuel injection. It's mechanical, but we converted the mechanical to electronic because there's nobody alive anymore that knows how to work the Jaguar mechanical fuel injection system. Yeah. We went electronic, and it's a lot more versatile. Tom, can you fire it up? Absolutely. We both smile when it starts. That is a nasty kitty. So, and that's a custom-built exhaust system. We we made the headers through a custom muffler all the way back to the really pretty exhaust pipes that come out the back. So yeah, done for ground clearance. Yeah, because underneath the car there was not a lot of clearance. So, so in deference to modern technology, it has a five-speed Tremec in it rather than the old four-speed non-synchro Moss box that it would have had back per in '62. Perfect for the copper state. Exactly. Yeah, perfect exactly. for the copper state. And. Um, um, and it has a, a regular E-type uh, suspension system, independent uh, suspension with the uh, uh, separate trailing arms and stuff. So it's Got old, it. old and new blended together. It's the custom Jaguar. Exactly. Well, let's uh, close it back up. Well, and lastly, you know, we opened this up for a second. Sure. But let's look in here for a second. Yeah, go ahead. Show me so, anything we need to see. Well, as a uh, don't know. 20 gallon uh, fuel cell. Yeah. And uh, fire system. So my intent with this car originally was to build it as a, as a pure race car. No interior, no nothing. So that's where, where all this stuff came from. Yeah. But as time marched on, I realized, as I saw the way the body was being built and all aluminum, 
it is so intricate and so complicated that if the car ever got bent, which is a good you know, possibility at a racetrack, it'd be almost impossible to fix. Yeah. So it's got a full roll cage inside, which you kind of don't need for the street. I kind of wish it wasn't there, maybe just a roll hoop. Because uh, I'm not going to race it. It's too, uh, it's too delicate. Not too delicate, but it's if it got messed, it, it would be tough. You know? Yeah. Anyway. All right. Too, too yeah. difficult. It took you too long to yeah. get here. Yeah. And I've been watching photographs of this car being built. Mm -hmm. So to actually be here and see it in person, I'm going to say it again. It may be the sexiest car on the channel. Let me let you take it in. That's amazing. Well, all that's left is we need to take it for a ride. So here we are in Arizona. It doesn't overheat. It's got ice cold air conditioning, electric windows, you know, full harnesses and stuff. So you feel very comfortable. Let's show what it can do. Let's do so it. Randy and I are in this race car. And I just want to show you what it takes to start this. Go ahead. Show them what we're doing. Ignition. Everything kicks up. All the gauges kick up. And neutral is a good idea. <laughs> we both start smiling as it fires like small children. We'll take you back to the ride. Randy and I are out here in the Jaguar 62. What is that? Low? Low drag coupe. Low drag coupe. I think one of the sexiest cars on the channel. You can tell me what you think. We're already getting a bunch of looks driving it, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, sure. And to stay out of traffic, which is not yeah. easy. into a showroom and the car was there you know this no. one was piece and piece and piece and piece at a time how long did it take the total time to get this car to this point it, it took a long time the body especially because it was so intricate uh, yeah I mean there's probably a thousand parts in the body little brackets and all had to be hand riveted and fitted and, you know fenders had to be extended and shortened and yeah. door jams and it was there was a lot of work associated with they call that panel beating panel beating and you were thank you by the way you continued to show me pictures of it as it was coming along and to actually finally be in it is is just as enjoyable as I thought it was going to be so I hope for the people who are with us who get to see it they get to kind of sense what we're enjoying so we were, me, we were kind of younger guys <laughs> when I first started talking about well, our hair was black right <laughs> So Randy, we're going to take a little more of a ride with this. Always a treat seeing you. So much fun. Well, you know what? We're going to have a little straightaway off this light. I need a little bit more. There we go. Actually, none of that was full throttle acceleration. 
right. not a particularly smart thing to do in the middle of the day. Right, yeah, right. not in the middle of the day. It's such a car that nobody is watching either. Yeah. <laughs> Every eyeball. Every, Every eyeball is looking on it. Randy, have a great time on the Copper State. I know you're going to be just the star of the show with this kind of a car. It's just beautiful. Thanks so much for being on my car store, and I'm so glad it's put together. Thanks, Lou. Good to see you again.